Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this vlog, you'll travel with me to Egypt and we'll explore the most spectacular Khan Khalili Bazaar in Cairo. We'll show you so many magnificent pieces, give some tips and share the stuff I couldn't help but to buy. The apartment I live in is kind of near the place, so it wasn't a long ride. They told me we'll do a lot of walking, so I hopped on a comfy pair of sneakers. And I didn't freak out of dogs as I usually do because they were so friendly. This area is surrounded by several mosques, all the all. Al Hussein Mosque. The mosque is considered one of the holiest sites in Egypt. The current building was built in the 12th century. The design is kind of influenced by Gothic revival architecture. I had to make a stop at this sacred site before I started my journey. The skinny lanes of Khan al Khalili are basically medieval style mall shops. The bazaar is loud, crowded, colorful, exciting, and full of interesting pieces. The shops are arranged around small courtyards and they stock everything from saw powder to precious stones, not to mention Imkathun figures. The first thing that caught my attention was the fourth pyramid of Egypt, Umm Kulthum. I'm not a classical fan, but I can't deny how a great singer she was. She stunned the Arab world with her unmatchable voice till she became one of Egypt's greatest symbols. It wasn't only Umm Kulthum who grabbed my attention first, but also the great variety of musical instruments and music in general. I mean, music has been an integral part of the Egyptian culture since ancient times, so no wonder why Khan Khalili holds so many aspects of it. Even Michael Jackson got himself a figure there. The walk through the alleys of this maze-like district let me feel as if I was transported back in time to an old Arab souk. I spend a lot of time just staring admirably at the items. Accessories there are so unique, they come in all these joyful colors. And you can customize a ring with your own name on it. The merchants of Khan Khalili are some of the greatest smooth talkers you will ever meet, but in a good way. They're very helpful, but you gotta be careful of one thing. Prices, they are not fixed, so you gotta bargain. I'm the worst when it comes to bargaining, so what I did was going from one shop to another till I got the lowest price for the items I wanted to buy. My steps got slower, so I needed a coconut drink break. While the sun settled down, the market had shined with lights. And Hussein Mosque was lit with green. Shop owners calling you to their stalls, the scent of spices, the hustle and bustle of a trade, and the many beautiful objects that I can't purchase had me lost among alleys for hours. It was one of the best experiences I have had so far in Egypt. And I definitely like to hug this place again. But before I hug you goodbye, I'll show you guys what I got. You can't go to Egypt without going home with some souvenirs. 
So I got these pyramids and got the smallest size ever. I got this tiny full pot with its ladle, it's so cute, and got myself a Latin lamp, but unfortunately no genie inside. This ring with hieroglyphic symbols, magnets, tiny hourglass, tiny dream catcher with tiny drums and tiny fez. I also bought this mortar and pestle. I like that it's made of marble and it's really small compared to the regular size. This mirror comp set was almost displayed in every shop and honestly couldn't help but to get me one. And last but certainly not least, these teeny tiny musical instruments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little journey with me. We're also for now, so...